this video is pretty much unedited, but uh, I put together what I had when we were in the War Museum there in Tallinn. Uh, there's some speaking of the tour. A guy that used to be an ambassador to the United States. Uh, he's retired, so he does this now as a hobby, I guess. Um, giving tours through the War Museum. It wasn't the most exciting thing to see, but it was okay. Hopefully you can just skip through to some parts that uh, you don't mind seeing. And uh, thanks, and see you on the next one. It was a, I don't know if you can hear, buddy, but it was a uh, resonance of a General Johan Ladinier, uh, who was the Commander-in-Chief of uh, the Estonian Armed Forces during the Estonian War of Independence. Uh, in this museum, you'll see all kinds of vehicles and weapons and uh, artillery and stuff like that. Some are, you know, uh, unique to the whole Baltic region. Um, it is, since it was, you know, dominated by Russia, so you're going to see a lot of Russian uh, themes there. But uh, you can get to this place if you're at the bus terminal. You can get to here by taking bus A1. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Hey YouTube family, hit that subscribe button because not only does it keep you in the loop, it helps the uh, YouTube algorithm push this video out to more and more wonderful, beautiful people just like you. Some from Norway, some from Switzerland. Okay, Fine. let's go. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad to mention for those who are coming from the United States that uh, in my previous uh, life I was a diplomat, I served twice in the United States. And in New York and in Washington, where I started in Washington in 93, when after we had regained our independence again. And uh, before that, I studied a little bit at the University of San Francisco as an exchange student in 1991 when the coup happened. And uh, it was interesting to see from distance what's going on. And now I'm retired and doing uh, tours in this museum from time to time. This uh, matter belonged 1471 for the uh, nuns, Pirita convent. There was a nunnery and they needed, uh, they needed farm right, to get the foodstuff in today's terms, catering service. So, uh, but in the middle of the 16th century, when the nunnery was burnt down by Russians, and this manor belonged to the uh, Swedish kingdom, later on to the Russian Empire again, and changed the owners as it was typical at that time, one nobleman to another, etc., etc. In 1919, historian state uh, took over the, uh, the manor here. Uh, this center part was built after the fire in 1865. It was typical that fires did happen, as it is in the life, and some wings were added, etc. Uh, the, the color scheme here is not original because there was no chance whatsoever of description of, of the interior of the manor. So our design is just to try it after we started to renovate here to figure out what might be the, the right proportion of the colors and everything. But the interesting thing is that once you open all the doors in the manor from one end to another, you can see from one, one end to another end, uh, probably similar to the British Parliament. Whereas in one end there is a monarch sitting, in another end is the speaker of, of the house. Uh, so, 1865, it was rebuilt, and uh, in 1923, the Estonian state gave this manor complex to General Leiden for his excellent uh, service during the uh, War of Independence that we won. The War of Independence is the only war that we have ever won, actually, but the most important war. So, <laughs> We became an independent uh, state. And uh, this manor belonged to the, the general letter and his wife, Maria. Maria is, by the way, the, uh, from the Polish uh, nobleman family. And Polish uh, nobleman family were called Schlachta in Polish. So it's sort of the lower level of. The official road didn't like that. They put together the ideology and the force, uh, which was called uh, Brotherhood of, of, of Swords. Sword Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Swords. 
and they came here to turn us into Catholics at uh, the beginning of 13th century and they uh, succeeded about 1226 or 7 but we didn't like this anyway so we we, we fight, we fought uh, we're trying to involve our neighbors as well in Estonia from neighboring parishes etc etc so this, this um, is a typical warrior of that time you see the, uh, the iron ring uh, coat it took a year to uh, Make that? Make, make, make it? Make it, yes. Not the knit, but uh, to make it. Oui, yeah. exactly, yeah, sorry. And uh, it was pretty effective. We all need uh, soldiers, actually. So, um, let's move on to World War I, uh, which Estonia was uh, involved as well because we were part of the Russian Empire and uh, here is a map of the war theater, the uh, one side Germany, France, uh, United Kingdom, Russia, Austria and Hungary, uh, Kingdom, etc. etc. Pretty fancy. That was, I have no idea. But the uh, Chevy, the him, 1009, Dodge, Paddy Wagon, I guess. <laughs> the Russian, well, it was used by Ukraine. So, folks, this is a, a tour that they have. Um, it was pouring down rain, so, but they had a tour of the museum in Tallinn. Military museum. So, if you are uh, thinking about going, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know, some B-roll uh, opportunities. Okay. 